Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Nigeria is the most populous country in Africa and has the highest population growth rate in the world. This growth brings with it an increase in the consumption of products and the appearance of companies that supply the demand for these products. Such is the case for the automotive industry and tire manufacturing, which are known to generate waste problems by not degrading or generating pollutants by burning them. For us, if we recycle, what we have tried to do is to see how we can contribute to preserving the environment. And that's why we looked at tires. There are so many things to do to preserve the environment, but we just picked the tire um, aspect. Because yearly, millions and millions of these tires are burnt. So what we try to do is to withdraw those tires. The more we buy, the lesser tires that we burnt, and the lesser impact, um, the lesser effect it will have on the environment. Okay, my name is Olu Shebu uh, Babalola. I'm the Chief Operating Officer for Free Recycle Limited. So I manage the entire operations of the, the facility and also sales and the marketing uh, business of the company. We have two lines. We have the tire line where we produce the pavers. That, that's what, what you see here, the, the pavers. And we also have the mat line where we produce the mat products, foot mats, rubber rolls and the likes. This problem has encouraged the creation of recycling companies like Free Recycle, which is dedicated to finding solutions to give these tires a second use. Once the company has the tires ready, it begins its process by removing the inner steel wires. Free Recycle acquires tires from different sources, including roadside mechanics, automotive repair shops, and public waste disposal sites. Without those wires, the tire is now pure rubber which is easier to process in the shredding machine, where it is chopped into several pieces. The company can process 150 tires per hour thanks to the machinery in the production line. The cut pieces are required to be smaller, so they're sent through a crushing and grinding machine. During the grinding process, the conveyor system has several sieves that are used to select pieces that require further processing. The workers are positioned alongside every step of the process to ensure its quality. Magnets are also used to ensure that there are no steel pieces mixed with the rubber. A 
machine is used to sort the rubber granules based on their sizes, from 3 by 32 inches to 3 by 16 inches. The material will have a different use depending on their size, where the finer particles are used for mats and the larger ones for bricks or asphalt. In the case of rubber bricks, the particles are mixed up with a polyurethane additive. This mixture increases the strengths of the bricks and also gives them more durability for the tropical climate of Nigeria. Colored rubber particles are also added to increase the aesthetics of the product. Once the mixture is prepared, the workers are in charge of pouring it into the characteristic H-shaped molds. We sell to different seg segments of the market. We sell to schools, we sell to real estate businesses, we sell to a whole lot of companies partner with us that also want the environment to be better. So they bring in their tires, we recycle, and we make very good um, eco-friendly products for them, and we return. Initially, the molds are manually pressed to ensure they are filled and have the required density. Compaction is a necessary and important step as it removes any air inside and ensures that the particles are bonded. This is why further compression is applied with pressing machines that maintain constant pressure. All the products made from the rubber particles are cured in an oven for at least eight hours to achieve their maximum durability. The advantage of these over other alternatives is the safety. I mean, if you fall on this, you get back up. That's one. Two, the shelf life. This product will last, it lasts very, very long extremely long. So that's, that's, um, those are the two major uh, benefits of that. When the products are manufactured, the workers inspect them to ensure they meet the requirements. Similar steps are followed by products like rubber mats, with the use of extra machinery such as mechanical rollers. The 
rubber is molded by the pressure exerted by the rollers, which in turn allows bonding between the particles. In the factory, the workers are in charge of cutting the sheets that come out of the rollers. Rubber sheet punching machines are used to cut the edges of the sheets without leaving damage. Through this process, it is possible to have sheets of several sizes for different purposes. These are eco-friendly products. We want our products to be virtually everywhere, major supermarkets all over the world. So those are the things that um, we're looking at doing in the short run and also in the long run. Following this procedure, the company can create several sustainable products, including playground surfaces and slippers. It shows how versatile and diversified the reused rubber from the tires can be. Thanks to tire recycling, there is a reduction in the environmental hazards that are related to tire dumping. It is now an innovative solution that also provides employment opportunities for those working directly in the factory or those selling their derivative products. It is an opportunity that opens the way to recycle more materials, leading to better waste management. That's the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.